everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bax and it's absolutely fabulous meeting you. Today I'm going to take you through how I achieve this natural, no makeup, makeup, clean girl aesthetic. Make sure that you do subscribe. We're on the road to 10k and it would mean the world to me if you could give me a little subscription in exchange for a little tutorial. So I hope that you enjoy the video and I hope that you stay. <laughs> So a lot of the stuff that you'll be seeing in this video is from Maybelline simply because Maybelline is cheap You can get it at Discam, you can get it at Clicks or whatever your drugstore is or local pharmacy if We can call it that in South African terms beauty supplies though, whatever Joel So the very first thing that I do is prime my face with this Maybelline baby skin instant poi razor I I think I love it because it's the first prime I ever bought and like I don't see anything wrong with it So I think it's pretty great. I usually put let me show you how much I put this is How much I start off with and then Whenever I feel necessary to apply more I'll apply more like now also the reason why I'm doing my makeup in my living room is literally because, or in my living room, in my father's living room, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm doing my makeup in my dad's living room because there's load shedding. And I can't plug my ring light in. I can't do what I need to do properly with the load shedding. So this is just going to have to do. Lately, my skin has been breaking out, as you can hopefully see. There we go. Yo. Okay, I, I didn't need the camera to expose me like that. <laughs> Can you see the breakout? So I don't know what's been going on with my skin. I don't know if it's the masks. It's me pointing at my forehead and saying, I don't know if it's the masks. I don't know what it is, but there's definitely something in the water that's causing my skin to break out. So I'm trying to avoid full face beats. Although, although this technically feels like a full face beat, it's just not as full it's not as many layers of foundation concealer and all of that stuff it's literally like as minimal as in my head it gets especially for somebody with acne scars and blemishes and hyperpigmentation and all the issues of melanated skin <laughs> so i'm kind of lucky to already have full eyebrows so i literally just get brow soap i don't have it now I'll tell you that much because every time I go into this camp, every time I go into clicks, they don't have brow soap. But you can get it from Catrice for a hundred rand, or you can get it from Essence, but it's literally always out of stock for like 89 rand, 70 rand, somewhere around there. So it's pretty affordable. When I can't find it, like right now, the past couple of months since February, I've been using the Dove soap, the original soap. Take an old toothbrush, scrub it in the soap, and then start brushing my eyebrows so that they stay in place and look this clean the entire day. The second thing that I always do is get a set of individual lashes because I feel like individual lashes elevate your look all the time and you don't have to fully beat your face in order for you to look made up, if that makes sense. So if you look at me even right now, I don't have any makeup on, but I do look semi-decent just because I've got individual lashes on. So if you are looking to invest in constantly having makeup or everyday minimal makeup, I suggest that you get individual lashes because they're the best way to go for the natural look without having to spend too much time in your mornings. But enough chatting for me, let's get into the actual makeup tutorial. So the first thing that I use is my baby skin pore erasing primer second i take my setting spray and just add it on top of my primer like that just wait for it to dry because obviously it's spray and my face is low key wet i see jackie aina do this all the time so if jackie aina doesn't it's good enough for me to do <laughs> so i literally just put it on i have no idea if it does make your makeup last longer but she says it does so i believe her and i just do it when my setting spray is done, I get my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, F-A-W-N. And I literally just put it under my eyes, like that. Yes, I start with concealer. So I'll put it under my eyes and then take my foundation brush and just start like blending it in. I'll finish off with the sponge, but like, I just feel like when I start with the sponge, I feel like sponges like 
suck on the product and like remove product off of my face so i like to start blending it with a makeup brush and then afterwards take my sponge and start like blending it so it can remove excess product if there is excess product so the goal here is not to look quite quite white underneath your eyes it's literally when i take a shade that's lighter than me to conceal underneath you can use foundation or concealer i just prefer concealer because that's its purpose i think just to hide my dark eyes and make it brighter make it look like you know what i'm saying make it look like exactly that's all i want so once it looks like this then i will go in with my sponge and start sponging <laughs> it's kind of wet though so yeah allegedly that's like how the beauty gurus do it so that's how i do it in my everyday routine okay i know i look crazy i know i look crazy but stay with me stay with me after concealer comes my color stay foundation from maybelline it's in the shade hazelnut color number 66 so i just put some of that on my the back of my hand like that look at the color it's the color of my hair it's the color of my skin it's the color of my skin pad with that same brush that i used for concealer and like dab it on my cheeks i'm not gonna go back just because i want to finish what is on my face it's it's quite do you see that it's like one pump is enough for my entire face when i'm doing a natural look so i don't really go back because the idea is to look like i don't have makeup on but have makeup on i'm just doing a light beat a minimal beat for the girls <laughs> try not to take it up to your under eye because that can cause like creasing is it called creasing like when it makes lines on your face i learned that trick from ooh kms the good sis kms who's doing a lot for the south african girls <laughs> this thing takes patience hey it takes patience you gotta dab you really gotta dab so it can look like your skin we're dabbing dab <laughs> guys does anyone like shave their lips i thought of doing it but i'm scared like the mustache is literally gonna grow back stronger and i don't want any of that in my life okay back with the sponge <laughs> you know what's nice about this foundation this foundation is great because it's a full coverage foundation which means you don't really need that much of it in order for it to cover your face so you can use like maybelline fit me i think that's the cheapest foundation they have fit me is popular amongst people i had a very bad experience when i bought um the maybelline fit me i think i just used the wrong shade i'm not sure because the makeup from my 21st birthday i don't know if anyone remembers that makeup that face beat banged and the makeup artist used maybelline fit me fit me so i i'm certain that it was a me problem in terms of picking the right shade because when i used it my skin literally looked gray i looked like a ghost but when she used it everything was fine i really think it has more to do with picking the right shade than it does to do with um the actual foundation so if you can't afford to get this um super stay one from maybelline i think it retails for like 229 rand if i'm not mistaken or it's bordering 200 rand i'm not sure fit me is like a hundred and something rand like 128 like, but like early hundreds if it even touches 100 rand it's probably 90 rand i don't know maybelline is cool because it's super affordable and it's good quality for an affordable price you just need to get the forehead you know you want everything to match and come together i don't really shape my eyebrows because i've got trust issues and i'm scared that somebody if i go to someone to thread and tint my eyebrows i'm gonna look crazy so usually what i do is do the whole soap thing that i told you about and then i would take my foundation just a like even a quarter of a pump and go underneath my eyebrows with that foundation just to give it a clean look i don't like concealer underneath my eyebrows because i feel like concealer underneath my eyebrows makes my under eyebrows white and i don't like that i don't, I don't believe in that but um my friends use concealer underneath their eyebrows and it works great for them so maybe i just don't have the technique i don't know but for me i just would rather not see what it looks like before there's like little hairs underneath that i clearly need to get tweezed but i have trust issues so we're just gonna cover them with makeup 
this is the like hardest part of makeup is making your eyebrows look like sisters or twins but mostly sisters people who make their eyebrows look like twins must tell us the truth they must tell us the truth because they are witches and that's that i say what i said if people can make their eyebrows twins they witches <laughs> and that's it for my brows no eyebrow pencil at all i don't believe in eyebrow pencil with my entire heart unless i'm doing a full face beat i feel like eyebrow pencil makes my eyebrows look But what I am going to use the eyebrow pencil to do is contour my... Hear me out! Hear me out! Hear me out! I'm going to use eyebrow pencil to contour my nose. And optionally, okay, if you really want to go that far, you can use um, the LA Pro Girl Concealer again in the shade Mahogany. Minimal amount. If I'm doing the full face beat, that's when I contour my full face. But if I'm doing a light face beat, I just contour my nose with eyebrow pencil. For the eyebrow pencil, I use this allegedly Huda Beauty from my Oriental city. <laughs> I, allegedly. They have a lot of alleged beauty products, but I only use their alleged eyebrow pencils and their alleged lashes. These lashes retail for like 20 rand. I know they look plastic on camera. Hear me out. I know they look plastic in the box on the camera, but in person you can see that they are mink lashes. So when you do buy lashes anyway, please don't buy the plastic looking ones. I beg you, don't buy the 50 rand plastic looking ones anyway. If you're gonna go buy at your oriental city for 20 rand make sure that you're buying mink lashes okay in a in a in the most natural looking pair you can find natural does not mean sparse okay natural just means it doesn't how do i say the lower the d the more natural the lashes let me put it like that the higher you go on the d's the more of a baddie the lashes are, the lower on the D's that you go, the more natural the lashes are. So I do recommend 3D. I think that's like, okay, it's, it's suitable for most people. It's just the style differs. So you're going to have to check that out. Whenever I go there, I will literally get like 15 different styles. Okay, not 15. I don't have money like that <laughs> yet. But um, I literally just grab like a couple of pairs, whatever I think will suit me and then try them on at home but like i said i believe in lashes more than i believe in anything else but if you're getting lashes done for the very first time i recommend that you get classic lashes in the length 14 millimeter so ask for a cat eye classic lash 14 millimeter 14 sounds brave 12 okay 12 millimeters 12 millimeters just so you can get com comfortable with the lashes and then once you're comfortable with the lashes you can get the ones that i get which are the 16 millimeter hybrid lashes which are slightly more expensive than the classic ones but they last me literally the entire month so i pray pay 350 um in a spot in hatfield and yeah this is not a sponsored video so we're not doing that so those are the only two things that i would get at an oriental city for the sake of my skin i don't get primer there i don't get foundation there i don't get setting powder spray anything that goes on my actual face i don't buy there because i don't want to legend beauty products on my skin i'm scared of what might happen yeah maybe eyeshadow palettes too that's not bad but nothing for the lips nothing for the face <laughs> please <laughs> contouring my nose the first thing i do is go in with my phone LA girl concealer and make a straight line. you need to focus for this one okay make a straight line right in the middle of your nose so I take the straight line all the way to my forehead because I low-key contour my forehead with my nose so as you can see it only stops here and I like I'll spray it I will spread it across my forehead like that just so that this part can remain darker and my forehead can appear smaller when you look at me from the front. <laughs> I know, I know, it's witchcraft, it's deceitful, I know, but it is what it is. Where is my sponge? My sponge. I hope you guys are having a good day. 
I'm having a great day. My friends on WhatsApp were actually dragging me this morning. I posted a status about um, men like Yolophonic and how he's just one of the sweetest and kindest people I've met on met on the internet. He's so kind and is constantly extending love to everyone on Twitter. I don't know who he is. I don't know him personally. Um, I wouldn't say that we're friends, but we are Twitter mutuals and he is quite the gentleman and I appreciate that. So I was just telling them how good people still exist and not like good people still exist like I, I'm trying to see this man, but good people still exist as in there still is humanity in humanity. It's not all is lost, not everyone is evil and this goes for males and females. Sometimes we let one person cloud our judgment about I need to focus. Very quick interruption, Barbara from the future coming through. I just wanted to let you know that I'd appreciate it so much if you could give me a young thumbs up because you're clearly enjoying this video or else you wouldn't be watching up until this point. Let your friend know that you're having so much fun and you're literally about to be the biggest baddie on the block because of this video. Okay, bye. <laughs> so that's step one with the eyebrow pencil. Should I move back? I literally did the bridge of my nose. Okay, maybe I did not do such a good job at lining it, but you get the idea. So put it at the corner of your nose and at the corner, if your nose has corners like mine. <laughs> Naturally, I've got lines going through here. Like my nose is a, is a little bollocky. Look, can you see the, the lines that I'm talking about? So I go over those lines like that. Do you see that? I know I look crazy, but do you see that? And then... Okay, I think I'm gonna make, I think my nose is gonna be bigger today, damn. <laughs> but usually this line is a little lower, like here, just because I'm trying to create the illusion of a small, cute nose. So my nose naturally is like that and like that, but if you look closely, like I slightly adjusted the shadow of my nose and took it in slightly and in slightly on this side and then you want to take it in slightly as well here and that will give you the illusion of a much smaller nose don't overdo it because nobody's nose is this small but like you know try to keep it keep it natural like you see what i mean it made my nose look bigger instead of smaller because my line here was so high when i should have taken it lower but that's fine because you know my mistakes and you're not gonna make the same mistakes that i do moving on so if you've ever paid attention to the filters that we use on instagram they tend to make your lips look a little fuller and i really like the look like i really like when i use the instagram filter and my lips just look juicier and fuller and i figured out how to do it and that's what i do when i do my everyday look well sometimes most of the times mm. so for my lips i'm gonna go in with this alleged huda beauty i i don't know if it's an eyebrow pencil or if it's a lip liner, I actually believe it's a lip liner. It's not an eyebrow pencil. It says liner pencil. It doesn't say eyebrow pencil. It says liner pencil. So I guess it is a lip liner. I've been, I've been using it. If you look closely at my lips, you'll see there's like this light skin lining around my lips where like my lips end, I guess. <laughs> so what I do is I'll take my eyebrow pencil or my lip liner, whatever it is, and then line on top of that line does that make sense so a line on top of it so that it's not there sometimes i'll go like just a little bit over it if, if i really want to be like you know if i <laughs> then i'll go over it just a little bit but for the most part i i stay right on top of the line i can still see some light skinness so i'm gonna go again can you see the difference I hope you can see the difference. <laughs> I do the same thing on the other side. So this is how I do my bottom lip. I don't really overline my bottom lip just because I feel like my bottom lips are already juicy. I just have like very, in my head, I have very thin upper lips. You can like rewind and look at my lips, but I think my upper lip is like this size and my lower lip is like this size. So when I overline my upper lip, it's literally just to make it look as full as my lower lip is. But after lining them like this, I will take my Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte Lipstick. It's in the shade Birthday Suit On, which is a nude. 
Um, I think this nude is absolutely fabulous for dark skin women. This is the nude that the makeup artist used on my 21st birthday and that's why I had to like go get it because I was like, no, I'm not living without it. And yeah, this is basically it. It says color number 10, birthday suit on. That's the name of the shade. Um, and that's the nude that I'll use. I literally will go one, two, three. I think I put too much. Oh my word. Oh no, oh no. Okay, but three slightly small dabs on my lips and then just like pat it like that. So if you felt like you put on too much, just switch fingers like I did, cause I felt like I put on too much. I even got some on my apple, but I hate that. But <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. It's cause I'm talking. I'm trying to do my makeup at the same time. But go in with my index finger, and then when I feel like I'll put on too much product, I'll switch fingers just to lessen the product that's on my lips. I need to go inside also, I don't want my I don't want you to see the beginning and the end of my lipstick. That's pretty much it when it comes to my lips. Um, if I feel like, if I feel like I need some lip gloss, which I, I rarely do. I rarely will put lip gloss after this step just because if I'm going out, maybe I'm going to school or I'm going out for lunch or something like that. I like to keep my lips matte because I feel like they last longer when they are matte. Um, when I have lip gloss on and all of that other stuff, I feel it's maintenance. It's maintenance because lip gloss wears out and then your entire lip wears out with the lip gloss. Now I have to go into the bathroom, line my lips, do the whole shandies all over again and I'm not keen on doing that. So I like to just keep it matte, but I think also keeping it matte makes it look more natural. It looks like I just naturally have really luscious lips and that's far from the truth. <laughs> okay, so next up I go in with this Yardly loose powder in the shade cappuccino very lightly and this is an extra step that I do simply because I am a very sweaty individual and I Somehow all of a sudden have oily skin. I always grew up with dry skin I don't know why my skin is all of a sudden decided that it's oily But I will take yo the sm the smallest dab in electricity's back. Praise God. Is it 10? P is it 10? It's 8 o'clock. Oh so take that and then I'll lightly, barely go in on my face. So under my eyes. The more of it that you put on, the drier your face will be. Like in that vlog of mine, the day I had the YouTube event. Exactly, don't do that. Then take some more and go. If I do it more than that, it's gonna be scary. It's gonna be scary. So this really cool trick I learned from Zozi Bini Tunzi Miss Universe. It was on a live of hers where she was in collaboration with John something um, who had collaborated with Woolworths to make a range of eyeshadow palettes and all of that stuff. So basically what he said is if you don't have blush, you take and usually on your color palette, these two things are next to each other, the orange and the pink. You can already see it's even finished. And the pink is more finished because Usually when I do eyeshadow, I will do one color only and that color is pink But you go in with your orange and your pink you take your brush and you literally go back and forth like that back and forth and then I <laughs> Just to get off the excess product Okay, so I do it once and then I do it underneath my cheekbone, right? And then I'll go around with the access product around the perimeter of my face. So what Zozi and the kind gentleman on her live were saying is that if you take the blush and you go around the perimeter of your face, specifically around your temples as well, it will create like a, a warm look and just make you look a lot more like radiant allegedly <laughs> allegedly i think it works because i mean i think i look good when i do it and i do it all the time so literally makeup is a trial and error thing and it's kind of been working for me so far my face is looking good so if i was doing a full face beat i would literally follow the exact same steps the only difference is i would go in harder with my concealer and probably add another layer of foundation just to to make sure that and then the eyebrows and a lot of other special effects 
that come with a full face beat that needs to last the entire day and then the last step my favorite step is highlighter and for that i'm going to be using the maybelline new york palette it's a blush nudes palette this video is not sponsored by maybelline just by the way i'm a student so for me to do makeup and all that stuff i can't be buying chanel i can't be buying you know all the fancy stuff that our favorite beauty youtubers use i just i use what i can afford this actually came free i got it in a gift pack with this colossal mascara i used this mascara when i don't have my lashes in so the past two weeks where i didn't have individual lashes because the lady that i usually do my lashes at was booked and busy child i was using this mascara but i don't think this is the best mascara that maybelline has because it's not waterproof and i prefer waterproof mascara just because when i'm at church specifically or you know anywhere that will require me to at some point have my eyes closed like praying or, or like home cells and stuff like that where my eyes are closed because i'm praying i try not to use this i would rather go for a waterproof um mascara but obviously i've got individual lashes so i don't need mascara but i'm just gonna take this and i'm gonna go with this one this one in the corner this one right here you can see i have barely used this one and that's just because i usually use this one um but it's kind of ratchet and everything is like low-key okay fine fine i've already showed it to you so i might as well just just carry on i want to finish this one before i use this one i'm very paranoid about like using new things when you haven't used like your old things so this one is also a rose gold nudes palette exact same thing this is just a compact version of this one um, but this one is from the oriental city so it's an alleged palette it's a little bit on the tip of my nose like that a little bit underneath my eyebrows two dabs two dabs and then like that on my cheekbones yeah they once all of that is done, I take my, the same one that I used for blush, I just go and like blend all of that in. I don't want to overdo the highlighter, so you'll see like I literally dab it once and then I'll do it everywhere with that one dab because I'm such a minimal honey guys. Yo, I, I can't do the whole like shiny shiny, look at me, oh I'm so shiny. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want to shine, I want to glow. So even on that live with Zozi, they had put some on their nose. I just don't do it the first time around because I don't want my nose to look red. So I'd rather when I blend out my highlights, use the exact same brush and then have the, what are the, the crumbs of the blush go on my nose because I don't want my nose to be pink, if that makes sense. And then on some days, on days that I'm feeling extra fancy for dramatic effect, I go back onto the eyeshadow color, take a little bit and add it on my eyelid and blend it with my eyes because i'm ratchet like that yeah i'm fine and look at that we shining that would be the end of the situation so i will take my setting spray and lock it in and that pretty much concludes my everyday makeup look this usually takes me 10 minutes to do in the morning but obviously because i was speaking so much and explaining myself with every second step that i took um i took a lot longer than 10 minutes at this point is where i then start wearing my jewelry i like to accessorize with gold because it literally screams clean girl i learned on pinterest like two days ago that there's it's called clean girl aesthetic where you like sleek your bun wear natural makeup and gold accessories which is weird because i didn't know that's what the aesthetic was called but it's called clean girl aesthetic and then i saw that there's kind girl aesthetic smart girl aesthetic and i was like yo guys we're really taking this aesthetic thing really far I swear i'm like a, a put together girl <laughs> who knows who knows her stuff but really i'm just a crazy honey who jumps in pools occasionally and sings afrikaans songs on the internet in comparison to what you would be spending at your luxury beauty store this is nothing it's very student friendly and it's something that i've built over the years so if you don't have the financial capacity to build and get every single one of these products that's fine start with what you can and then build up as you go so i would start by prioritizing a primer and foundation that's what i would do in the first month and the second month i would get the concealer as well as the setting powder setting spray okay and then in the last month i would get my setting powder and 
eyeshadow palettes and all of the extra fancy stuff that make your makeup last longer but you don't need those things in order for you to get it together does that make sense so yeah anyway hope that you learned a little bit from this video and i hope that you stay and become a part of the zx family <laughs> okay that's not my family but i'm a part of the zx family and she's so cool she's so great oh my god this is the look for the day i should be heading to school today i know they're probably gonna drag me for coming to school looking like a baddie but <laughs> such is life such is life it'd be like that i really hope that you learned a little something and that you are a lot more confident in your makeup skills after this trust me it takes a lot of trial and error i didn't get to this point overnight when i first 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 started out doing makeup i literally used to take foundation and just cover my under eyes and that was pretty much it as time went on i learned a couple of things about makeup i learned the purposes of certain products and i learned how to apply them on my face in such a way that it works for me okay works for me that's the key so find out what works for you dibble and dabble a little bit do it over the holidays when nobody can see you and you're just sitting at home try it out and by the time that you have to go out and step out into the streets you'll be clean and good to go i hope that you enjoyed this video please make sure that you do subscribe i would love 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 to have you be a part of this community of fabulous people but if not it was so great to meet you it was lovely that you passed by and i thank you for your time cheers the comment of the week goes to